the seven vital things I've learned when running Google pay-per-click ads for care homes. When I say I, that's my team. Um, but I have been closely involved and here are the seven things that we've learned by running Google pay-per-click uh, ads for care homes. The first is that whereas there is no secret source for generating uh, new private pay inquiries for care homes, switching on and off Google pay-per-click ads is pretty much the number one way that I've discovered or found to generate uh, more guaranteed inquiries for care homes. Uh, that's 100% something that I've learned and uh, that's why you should be, uh, if you want to get more inquiries from privates who are care homes, you should be running Google pay-per-click ads. So, uh, number two, when you are running Google pay-per-click ads, however, for your care homes, you have to track everything. Uh, and what do I mean by tracking everything? It means that once a family member, ideally, is looking for a care home, clicks on one of your ads and gets to, let's say, your website, you are tracking everything that they do from that point particularly um, their uh, a call to act or a call to action or an action that they take. And that may be uh, making a phone call, um, that may be requesting a brochure, a brochure download, that may be uh, submitting a request on your contact form submission, and maybe booking a, an appointment to have a look around, or it may be a, an email inquiry or a live chat initiation from your website. But you have to make sure that you track everything because this is the only way really to make sure that you have a very astute uh, and concise uh, understanding of your ROI. That is for every 100 or 1,000 pounds of Google ad spend, how many certified you are inquiries from those various channels you are getting. So uh, number two is a, a repeat. Make sure you track everything because that's uh, the best way to understand uh, your ROI. Number three, a landing page, a good landing page for your um, care homes once a family member again clicks on that uh, Google ad uh, and gets through to your website. So that landing page ideally has got to reflect the nature of that the Google pay-per-click ads. And to be honest, you can have various landing pages. For example, a residential care home in uh, Lincoln, uh, you need to make sure, ideally, that that landing page uh, not only has it makes it very clear that this is a care home in Lincoln that you are, um, but has got a, a copy and words, images and other pages that uh, really... Um, showcase your home in, in an extraordinarily good way as best as you can um, uh, and also that that landing page uh, has all those calls to actions that I've mentioned uh, brochure downloads if they're interested in getting a brochure for easy accessible and understandable phone number contact form submissions live chats for example um, and uh, photos of your manager can again at least little touches that can make this landing page so beneficial to working with um, google pay-per-click ads um, so that's number three number uh, four is continual optimization uh, that's certainly what we've learned is that you must be daily or every two days optimizing your Google pay-per-click ads because the Google pay-per-click dashboard is very, very good at showing you all the numbers, cost per click, your optimization uh, score, uh, how well your ad strength, how well your ads are performing uh, in Google parlance, it will show you uh, your cost per conversion, which, as I've mentioned, is someone making an action uh, on your website, such as uh, requesting a brochure or making a telephone call. And that's called a Google conversion. But you want to make sure that you understand those numbers and make sure that you are always optimizing your Google dashboards on, on all those metrics and also using new ads and trying new ads and uh, uh, Google is a very much a mixture in, in kind of the words that are displayed in Google ads, very much a mixture of human and um, uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence. So you want to make sure that you you are, uh, as I said, regularly uh, going into your dashboard and changing uh, and optimizing on all those metrics to make sure that you are continually improving 
um, as much as possible on your Google Ads performance. That's number four. Number five is kind of related to number four, but it's about um, making sure that you're always adding negative keywords to your Google Pay Per Click uh, performance. And what I mean by that is uh, if you are looking for inquiries from private families, you don't want to get people who are looking for jobs to uh, click on your ads. So make sure that, uh, for example, if you have care home um, in Lincoln uh, or, or, or care home jobs or any word that has jobs or any phrase rather that has jobs in the search, make sure it is a negative keyword. So your ads will not be picked up when people are searching um, uh, uh, care home jobs for example and then you've got all the related um, negative keywords to job searches such as recruitment such as sponsored listings such as uh, sorry sponsored um, uh, sponsors is, is a good one for people who are looking for sponsorship making sure you're adding that, those kinds of, of keywords uh, to your negative list another a good example is um, if people are searching under a, a competitor's name um, but they again care home may be in that key phrase that people are searching but you don't want your ads to be picked up necessarily when searching uh, when people are searching for a uh, a competitor care home so make sure that uh, your competitor homes are added to that uh, negative keyword list uh, as you progress with your google ads you'll always be seeing uh, those negative keywords popping up and you're seeing your ads are occasionally being seen under phrases that you definitely don't want your ads to be seen under or words including in those phrases so make sure as i said you are adding those words to that negative list number uh, six is um and again related our advice is don't do branded campaigns and what that means is is that if people are so if people are if you have a care home called xyz care home make sure that xyz care home is not one of the keywords that people are searching under for google for google paper click and the reason being is let's say you have your home is xyz care home if people are searching xyz care home in google then people will organically find your care home and uh, it's uh, not always a good idea for your ads to be seen when people are searching under the name of your care home. It's not, uh, there are kind of variables that uh, are mitigating factors, but generally uh, that's something very important from, from what we have learned. Uh, and number seven, the importance of having 100% a good live chat facility on your website when you are running Google pay per click ads. And what I mean by that is a live chat facility that really is a real person, someone who is able to um, have an online conversation with a, a family member when they have reached your care home page via Google pay per click ads. And uh, we've seen this work incredibly well is that uh, people, family members will have real-time uh, conversations online via a live chat platform that's linked to your website. There are various ways that you can do live chats. And to be honest, uh, we feel the best ones are really uh, minimizing chat bots and having a real person. That's not to say it's going to be like that in the future. Uh, because maybe these chatbots and AI will become so super amazing that we won't be able to distinguish between a human uh, and AI. But uh, as I'm doing this video 2024 in March, um, we know and we can still tell who is a human and who is an AI robot. Um, so that's why right now, uh, I 100% would recommend real person. There's so many ways that you can make this live chat facility work where you're going to get <clears throat> real-time alerts when a family member is on your live chat uh, on your website um, and those alerts will come to your mobile phone. So literally you can uh, join that live chat conversation with a family member, a prospective family member, and when they are on your website using live chat. As I said, I've seen this work so dozens, hundreds of times. Um, so that's my number seven, make sure you have a good live chat. So I hope this 
was useful for you. Please, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe because you're going to get loads more uh, tips and info. If your interest is getting more inquiries about PR marketing for care homes,